Okay, I think we are about ready. So, mic's working. Uh, is the volume off on... I'm gonna swap it over. I, the volume might not be off. Come on. There we go. Volume's now off. Phone's going. Everything looks fine to me. Let's get this going. <clears throat> I'm level 32. Wow. And we, like, just got the uh, stage expansion. Last time on Thousand Year Door, we went around the world. Gathering all the sh uh, stars pieces, we managed to get all of the pieces of art for the art gallery, as well as all. Oh wait, hold on. Sorry. Uh, we also decided to actually beat Prince Mush this time, and we got his belt as a sign of friendship. Then we went through the pit of a hundred trials, getting every badge in the process, and getting a trophy for our efforts. One thing left to do. Oh yeah. Uh, sorry. We got one of uh, the tattles from the uh, battle master. That's his name. I'm sorry. And there's only one tattle left. I don't plan these out beforehand. <laughs> Not really. So. Oh, to do this, do this. Okay, I think we have to run around and wait for a, wait for an email. At least that's what I read. I might look it up again. But I'm told we're, I think we're supposed to wait for an email. Actually, speaking of which, did I? Battle badges, cookie console, okay. <clears throat> I think we're supposed to wait for an email now that we've been beaten the pit of a hundred trials. And I think it requires us to just move screens. I'm not sure I might look it up. the pit hold on let me pull up the website I was looking at again uh, I think it was this one Let me look at the speci specific. <clears throat> uh, two enemies entries exclusive to the remake can be found at the end of the tile log. Both are challenging. Yeah. They're not the most straightforward to find. The first of these entries. Yep. Secret boss can only be found once you clear the pit of a hundred trials once. Oh. Okay. It's a good thing I double checked. It's a good thing I double checked. And you know what's funny? If I kept an earlier save, I would have had. If I kept an earlier save, I would have been able to just not bother with this now. But we're doing this now. We have to. We don't have a choice. Keel Hall Key. I am reading. We need to hit him so that he no longer appears. Wow. 
which last time I did this, I'm like, well, nothing happened. I guess I'll reset my save because I don't know what I'm supposed to do. How much? Uh, I don't have too much space. I'll probably have to eat some of these up. But we gotta hit him many times until he no longer appears. Again, the sad part is I did this before. <laughs> Now, I have no clue if, like, grabbing it and, or just bumping him on the head and not grabbing it would actually count or not, so I'm just going to throw stuff in storage. Or sell it. Oh, never mind, I can't do that here. He just, I could just buy stuff from him, okay. I'm get, yeah, I'll just throw a couple things in storage then. I have no clue how many times I actually hit him in total, so I'm going to have to make some room. You know, Waka's Bump is actually a really good healing item for me. It's basically a full heal. I have the space. I might just throw all the Waka's Bumps. And the Maple Mushroom. Yeah, I'll leave it at that. This does mean Wacka's Bump has a limited resource, I think. So, if you're doing cooking recipes, you better make sure to actually use all your Wacka's Bumps that you want to use on it. Again, poor Wacka. He doesn't deserve this. times until he decides to not show up. He didn't say direct hit. I have enough space for one more. So let's double check. He is gone. Okay. So, beat Pit of 100 Trials at least once. And we must hit Waka eight times so he no longer appears. Then, then we get a mail. I don't know if it's, uh, if the email's time based or if it's screen based. gotta wait for an email now. I'll just run around real court, I guess. <clears throat> Again, I have no idea if it's time-based or screen-based. So, just gonna run around. Although the emails seem to pop in as soon as you enter a screen. So, I don't know. I don't know how this works. Just kind of running around. This is the Thousand Year Door experience. Granted, the funny thing is, if I kept 
uh, I kept oh, <coughs> I kept the Waka thing earlier because I reset the save because I didn't know how it worked. I didn't know it was in Pit of 100 Trials, but I saw that it was Waka. So I figured, oh, we just hit him enough times and then he'll get mad. But no, I didn't know the second criteria. Actually, while we're out and about... Is there any other lore? Or did we talk- did we get it all? Yep, okay, we got it all. Making sure. Uh, okay. Same thing, yeah, that's not gonna change. I have so much money now. Like, who? I don't need this much. It is ridiculous. I don't know what else we could do. Right now, this is just the waiting game. Hmm. Maybe there's a, uh, chapter we could run to. I know! Let's run to Creepy Steeple! <laughs> like, the actual proper way. Wrong way. We gotta kill time anyway. And there's no reason to. I I'm just... I'm just doing this because I don't know what else we could do. Gotta kill time. This is a way to kill time. Again, I'm gonna double check. After both criteria have been met, and some amount of time has passed, will we receive an issue in the mail? Okay. Again, when it says time, I don't know if it means screens or real time. Alright, we don't have bump attack. And I'm not about to add it in. Get out of here. I don't think I need to really add any other jumps. To be honest. Sure, we'll take the Bushi. Multi-bounce is pretty much all I would want. Well, some people would say power bounce, but I, I don't... I don't know. One, I'm not that great at it, and two, uh, I, I wanted to try to avoid using it. And when I did use it, as well as multi-bonk, I only got, like, the two hits anyway, so I just spent FP to do a normal jump. Should have done it, but no, I missed the button press. Yeah, I figured you'd run. They just see how strong I am. I took the first one out as a uh, as a threat. Be like, this is what I could do to you, and they all just knew what would happen, and they're like, wanting to run. They knew their place. Get that. Bunch of enemies for my multi bounce to take out. And a single star point. 
I might look at a different site and see if there's a a different piece of information. Because maybe there's something else instead of just, oh, just wait amount of time. You know? We'll see. Not that one. This one. I made it a creepy steeple. You know what? I'm gonna take check a different site. No. Let's try this. I'm sorry. Okay, all recipes. Trouble Center side quest did that. Okay. If I click on this, what happens? Let me see. Bucket will appear in the empty space behind the ship. Can revive out to seven each time you move between areas of whack the bumps. There's only eight of them in total. You need to beat the game. Complete the pit of a hundred trials once. Make sure it stops appearing. Then we need to get an email. But this one this site doesn't even say that it's like it's based on time or something. This all the site says, "Hey, just do these things." So I have no clue if I'm just wasting time or or what. I have no clue. I made it all the way to creepy steeple. Granted, the other site actually showed the email part. I'm just going to look up Waka itself. Or what? Okay. <clears throat> Thousand Year Door. Key Hall Key. In, this, in the hidden remake, uh, he replaces Bone Tail. On repeat trips, after specific criteria, put the put the pair of a hundred trials, and then make him disappear when he disappears for the last time. After waiting thirty minutes in game time, the player must go back to Roquart to receive an email. Well. It is based on real time, I guess. I guess we could take this slow. And then we get an email in Rogue Court. That's kind of annoying. It is based on real time. Here's the thing. Even if... I, uh... Kept... The Waka K... Uh, Let's just say KOs, right? Even if I kept it, uh, 
I still would be waiting around. Unless I looked it up beforehand and actually saw that it was 30 minutes. And I probably would have done this off screen. But I didn't know this. The other option would have been save Prince Mush for after. So that way I kill time. Well, that's that, so... Oh, gotta kill a lot of time. About... Uh, I would say 10 more minutes, but a little bit more than that, because it's based on the Waka Chaos. So it's gonna be a little bit more than 10 minutes uh, of doing nothing. Let's go back to Roqueport. Roqueport Square. I can read out the Super Luigi's. That'll kill time. Yeah, that'll kill time. Time to kill some time. Let's read out some Super Luigi. <clears throat> Have you ever experienced a time when no matter how hard you tried, you failed? And when and the time you spent felt wasted? Many times. If you ever feel such pangs of regret, try to remember this tale. The story of a young man's quest to save a sweet princess. Super Luigi Volume 1, The Quest, begins. The day dawned like any other, but little did Luigi know the letter he was about to receive would forever change his destiny. Sir Luigi, danger besets us on all sides, and we beg your help. The foul Chestnut King has stolen our princ uh, beloved princess. The letter was from Minister Crep of the Waffle Kingdom. A man aware of Luigi's many adventures, he knew only Luigi could save them. Charged with this dire task, Luigi wasted no time cur curtailing the heroic meal he was making. Then he packed for his deadly journey, knowing that his older brother, though less talented, wait, knowing that his older, though less talented brother, was out on no doubt inconsequential errand, Luigi took a moment to leave a note. Mix a keel mango with a peachy peach to whip up a fruit parfait. Oh! That's okay. I didn't, I didn't realize this actually gave you a recipe. Okay. These cryptic words were all Luigi wrote before leaving. Upon re reaching the Waffle Kingdom, Luigi was greeted by pure misery. An endless flow of tears over the kidnapping of Princess Eclair. Arriving at the castle, Luigi was greeted by Minister Crep, who carefully handed him a compass based with compass base with only one intact section. Our land has a special treasure, the marvelous compass. Find its seven parts and find a Claire. So it began. A twelve page book. <laughs> I paid sixty four coins for this. <clears throat> Super Luigi, Volume 2, Allies in, it. Allies in Adventure. It's a little warm, Luigi muttered, the sweet dripping from his brow as he followed the compass up Rumpelbub Volcano's side. Must find the secret grotto. While, while Luigi had guts to spare, he did need a guide, and he found one in Bluey, a blooper he met in town. Brave Bluey joined Luigi and instantly proved to be invaluable. With his aid, Luigi bested a savage statue that protected the treasure. That treasure was none other than a piece of the Marvelous Compass, a piece that pointed to pointed west to Plump Belly Village. The second Luigi saw Plump Belly Village, he knew something was amiss. 
all was woe, and Luigi soon learned the reason why from the mayor. The town was at the mercy of a sinister serpent who demanded sacrificial, uh, sacrificial lasses. Burning with indignation, Luigi formed a team of liberators. A fierce Baum warrior named Jerry joined his, joined his crew and choose not, chose, not surprisingly, to stick, Luigi, stick with Luigi for the duration of his quest for, uh, for Equair. Fortified by his allies, Luigi strode on to the lair of the beast, a foul two-headed snake. No time to think, Luigi. No time to think. Luigi sprang forth. Twin heads snapped at his heels, fangs dripping venom. Then, as one mouth gaped wide to swallow Luigi, the other crept behind. Our hero sensed the tre uh, treachery and fainted before leaping. The heads collided, and the beast ate itself. The prize, a compass piece. The villagers begged their savior, savior to stay with them. But a grim-faced Luigi pressed bravely onward. <laughs> I'm just picturing like a JoJo like uh, drawing of Luigi, just grim face, or it's like Fist of the North Star, one of them, and he just leaves. <laughs> on. Super Luigi, Volume Three: The Voice of a Princess. Dauntless Luigi's ne next test came from came in the form of a kart race on Circuit Break Island, where he won both the contest and a compass piece. The race was fraught with danger, but Luigi pressed through adversity to win. All viewers were awed by Luigi's revolu revolutionary racing style. The mechanic who built Luigi's racing machine, a buzzy beetle named Twork, was so stunned by Luigi's race techniques that he joined him. Reinvigorated, Luigi set sail for Jazzafraz Town, where he made his stage debut. Hazy, a noted Daisy, produ noted Daisy producer, gave Luigi a key role. Playing the part of an Earth spirit to pure perfection, he was grass. <laughs> Luigi stole the show. Hazy's faith in Luigi's natural acting talents were, was rewarded. See what I mean? Like, it's like being, <laughs> like, Luigi's embellishing his own stories. This embellishes it even more. He's an earth spirit, not just grass. The performance won a prize, which yielded another compass piece. Hazy turned from teacher to pupil, joining Luigi on his quest. It was at this time that Luigi's heart, usually draped in the cool comfort of a hero's resolve, began to warm with thoughts of the Princess Eclair. This, this, came to this came to be because every time the magic compass pointed to a new place, her gentle words rang in his ears, touching him to his very soul. The voice spoke of eternity, of stars in the heavens. It wept for those bl uh, it wept for those blind to love. It gave comfort in the face of fear and loneliness. Though he had never seen her, our hero was tor uh, tormented by visions of this uh, fair-hearted maiden. All he could do was press onward. The compass pointed toward rump rumptuous ruins. Only two parts of the compass awaited, and Equair had won. Super Luigi, Volume 4, The Shards of Truth. Foot sore and, foot sore and wary, Luigi finally found the rapturous ruins beyond Grimble Forest. Within them, time and space were lost in nothingness. Within the pale emptiness, Luigi found a young sleeping boy. Our hero called out gently, and the youth woke from his long, long slumber. My name is Cranberry. And I've waited for you for the last thousand years. The boy went on to tell Luigi the secret truths of, a, of an ancient land. He said that the marvelous compass had been created by, an, by the ancient Luff people, who used its powers to, of foretelling to rule the world. But the, Luff, but the Luff Empire was then cursed by the compass and fell into ruin. The saviors dismantled the compass and hid, it, hid its pieces. Cranberry was the last of the ancient race. 
His role was to wait until one with a noble heart came to take the burden of the future. None but Luigi could have sh shouldered this weight. The boy gave him the compass piece and said, Fear the curse, but you but find your eclair. Luigi accepted the part. The boy's words burned into his brain. His duty fulfilled. The boy began to fade onto the blank. Uh, into the blank nothingness. As he faded from sight, a joy, a look of joy lit Cranberry's face. As Luigi gaped, both boy and ruins vanished, leaving our hero in the dark wood. With six of the parts united, the compass now pointed to the final part, to the quest's end, to Hate Song Tower. And then her voice spoke. Princess Eclair's voice begged for help from the void, pleading for a hero. Luigi's heart burst to flame. One more. Super Luigi, Volume 5, Journey's End. At long last, Luigi crossed the threshold of Hate's, Hate Song Tower. Luigi rallied his allies. We will defeat the Chestnut King, we must. Friends by his side, Luigi at last faced the fell Chestnut King. But then he heard a voice, and spun to see the fair Princess Eclair. She told our, <clears throat> she told our hero the painful truth. The evil Chestnut King was actually her true love, made monstrous by Crep in a bid for the throne. At that moment, the villainous crepe appeared. The marvelous compass, please, hand it over, and the Luff Empire will rule again. Mwaha! Luigi and co. were no match for the might of crepe, their true enemy. But then, the compass piece in Eclair's tiara uh, shone forth. It bestowed the future sight on Luigi. Knowing crepe's every move, he smote the, friend, uh, the fiend with his mallet, and with that... It was finally, all finally over. Luigi and his friends parted, leaving the Waffle Kingdom in peace. But Luigi regretted not gazing further into the future. He longed to see the Wafflers gathering on Princess Eclair's wedding day. He wanted to see her beauty, and who stood at her side. But it was not meant to be. Luigi went back to his humble home, which remained exactly as he left it. A cold comfort for his heavy heart. Taking up a book he had been reading, Luigi tried to read, but his long trial had sapped his strength, and he soon fell asleep. Luigi dreamt of his friends and his beloved Princess Eclair, and sleeping, Luigi spoke. I shall return. Is that enough time to kill? We gotta be close. We'll just run around Rogueport for a bit, I guess. So, uh, of course, the Chestnut King is just a transformed uh, boyfriend of Princess Eclair, and Minister Crip was the true bad guy all along. Luigi kind of, you know, not tell us that. He's just like, and then I beat him. Nothing else happened. Let's see. We could... Take a run through Far Outpost. Eh, Far Outpost is not that long. Uh, how about we run through... We'll go Petto Meadows. We won't go to Hooktail. We'll run all the way through the ruins, though. Just to try to kill some time. That should be enough time for the email to spawn. Right? Right? Let's just go through chapter one. Make a run through. Make a run through the ruins and back. I guess I could have. If I knew about this, I would have either done this on my own time or. Now would have been a good time to actually gather all the star pieces.
Either way, you know, have to kill some time. Alright. Actually, I might just not use Yoshi. It will kill more time that way. And it allows me to jump on the enemies anyway. I'm not going to stay and gather the coins. we got to keep moving. Keep on going. We will eventually get that email. I was kind of hoping the, the kid would actually update his dialogue and say he's like playing like a new Fire Emblem game or something. Or even like Super Paper Mario. But no, they kept the dialogue the same. And as far as I know, the dialogue has not changed. It's fine. It is kind of interesting that they kept the dialogue like referencing like Game Boy Advances in 2004, you know? I do find that interesting. But they chose not to update it in that way. I'm not saying that's a good or a bad thing. But I do find it interesting. Because <laughs> you know they would totally update the dialogue. Be like, I'm playing like Fire Emblem like Three Houses on the Switch. It's very fun. Now I'm going to move on to... Wait, okay, maybe he will say Thousand Year Door. Maybe he even says, like, I'm playing the remake of it. I never got to play it before. It's like, wow, I like this so much. I'm going to play the new paper, uh, a newer Paper Mario game. Origami game. Something like that. I, I wouldn't be... I'm surprised they didn't try something like that. Again, not saying they should have or shouldn't have, but I do find it interesting. Going through the ruins again because we haven't been here since chapter one. There's no reason to go back, really, unless there's like a star piece over here or something. I don't know. I guess we'll just. Yeah, I gotta kill time somehow. We'll go through both ends of the of, of this section, trunk for it, uh, fortress. Sure. Why not? Gotta kill time. Ah, uh, didn't want to do that. I'm trying to jump on it. Well, we're killing more time. Oh look, a tasty tonic. Let's run all the way back. We'll run to the other wall, the other end. Yeah, like that. I know we gotta be close, so I'm thinking by the time we head back, because the email happens in Rogueport. We should be able to now go to the other one. Ah. Oh wow, a, a, a fire instead of like mist. Does that mean anything? I don't know. Pal block, I, uh, I, no, no, I don't need this. I don't need that. 
All right. Let's head back. This should be enough time now. And we'll take the normal route back instead of the warp pipe. Again, gotta find a way to kill more time. Yes, yes, first strike making its way forward. Too bad it doesn't work in the Pit of Iron Trials, though. I mean, it would make it too easy, but you think it would update at some point, but oh well. I mean, they already made the Pit of 100 Trials even easier, didn't they? By letting you have the retry option when you die. In, and then, you know, 50 minutes would have been used up. <laughs> oh well. It is what it is. Star piece. Get out of here. Get out of here. We're gonna find out. We might need to head to the square, though. So I don't know if uh, we'll find out right this second. RDM Extra Issue Impromptu Special What Lies in the Pit of a Hundred Trials Fabled Creature Spotted Report today Early this morning we received a report that a mysterious creature has taken up residence deep within the Pit of a Hundred Trials Already rumored to be the lair of an evil dragon According to the eyewitness that spotted it Part of it looked a lot like a certain creature said to be extinct We call upon our readers to send any any additional information you might have, should you encounter it. Editor's note, to any brave readers that wish to test their skills in the Pit of a Hundred Trials, careful preparation is a must. No, our editorial department will be cheering, your on, cheering you on. To any good little children who might be reading this, the Pit of a Hundred Trials is very dangerous. Don't go near it. But if you do, don't mention this newsletter. All right, now we can go. I'm thinking I might get rid of... I, I'm thinking I want a life shroom on me. Where could I buy life shrooms? Was it Twilight Town? I might buy one, I might buy one or two life shrooms, but then we'll, we're going to the pit. I think 
we could buy live streams in Twilight Town. Okay, yeah, there it is. I think I'm just gonna sell a couple things. I don't have much left in storage. So we'll sell the snow bunny. And sleep a sheep. Alright. Life shroom. And life shroom. I didn't need it the first time around. But you never know. It is the pit. Let's, let's go. What's up? I'm a mover. I know a few things about getting through this dungeon. I got a special deal going on right now where I can take you straight to level 50. Costs a little extra though. 300 coins. Totally worth it. Alright. Close your eyes. My secret paths are all secret. Don't open your eyes at all. So, they added this mover. I guess after, after you beat the pit one time, and for the super boss, be like, yeah, let's, um, let's see, let you, yeah, you don't need to be, do the first 50 again. You don't need to. Like, it, it's a little much. Again, these guys have, like, 12 HP. So let's go ahead and rally Link. Yeah, and they also give you zero EX, well, like one EXP as well. There's just no reason to do it, it's just wasting time. And with multi-bounce and with all these power-ups, it's like, a, it's an easy fight, you know? It's super easy. Barely an inconvenience. But as far as I know, this this final fight is the last thing I have to do. How's it going, Mr. B? What's going on? This mover was not in the original GameCube version. I don't remember this thing. Granted, I didn't have a reason to go back and check. If I get rid of this one, 50 or... Huh. I almost wish the mover will let you start at 450 or 80. Look, even go even farther at this point. At this point, you know, you kind of wish he could just take you straight to floor 100 just to fight the boss, you know? I mean, you already have to wait 30 minutes. You already have to wait 30 minutes to get the email. Yeah, I was not sure if the email was real time or if it's based on a certain amount of rooms. And then I finally, after like the third website I checked, it finally gave me the answer that no, it's it's in game time. It's just all in game time. Where's A three hundred because of Maisie Daisies? Right. Well, what if he just gave you the option? 
he just gave you the option to be like, hey, you could choose 450 for 300 coins. 480 for uh, 500. And then floor 100 for 900 coins or something like that. Yeah, at that point, the Amazing Daisies are the only ones that give EXP at this point, basically. And they're very hard to find in Creep... Uh, not Creepy Steeple, but the way to Creepy Steeple. They're very rare enemy spawns, and I think there's only, like, one of them. At least here, there's at least two. Oh, come on. Are you serious? Fine. I'm not wasting my multi-bounce on a potential miss. I was doing the pit the first time. I got three floors with two Amazy Daisies on them. I think I only got one. I think I only got one floor with Amazy Daisies. Come on, attack me. Alright. Oops. Not what I meant to do. Bobbery. Get rid of the fog for me. And hit him too while we're at it. I made sure to get the tattle for the Maisie Daisy at the forest. Bef instead of the Pit of 100 Trials because I didn't want a turn to be potentially wasted. Just having to tattle in the pit. When you kind of want that extra turn, possibly. Also, I didn't have any life shrooms on me. <laughs> I, I bought two for this run. Because if Waka is just as difficult as Prince Mush, I might need them. Prince Mush was very difficult. Okay. Bella. Rally Wink. And another multi bounce. Get out. There's something that I think. The whole super guard thing being required. Yep. I can deal with Prince Mush being immune to any sass effects. I could deal with Prince Mush having his uh, stance changes. Basically nerfing you if you decide to do Jumpman or Hammerman. You know, in some ways. But then his final stance being required to super guard him? Yeah, I agree. I don't like that. Exactly. And there is no badge that lets you, like, oh, it lets you super guard easier. Because I would have equipped something like that. Yeah, I think that part of Prince Mush fight, Simplifier will do it. I thought it only affected action, action commands, like, uh, just like normal jumping. Does it affect Super Guard? Because I didn't equip it. Because I, if it did, I misunderstood what it meant. I guess Super Guard is an action command. I probably would have gotten it sooner, beaten him sooner if I had that equipped then. I probably just misunderstood it. Okay. Yeah, I misunderstood what it meant. I'll take that. I'll take that out.
then I probably could have beaten him sooner. So yeah, if you're trying Prince Mush, maybe put on Simplifier. Who cares about star points? And luckily, when he was uh, charging up, I'm like, I can't do anything. I er and then I decided to use Power Lift as a just-in-case. I managed to get the Super Guard off, and I won because of the Power Lift. And Rally Link, Link of course. Come on. Ah, dang. Oh yeah, like, honestly, it was more figuring out where to super go. And I find that to be hard when it's very difficult within the moment, you know what I mean? Uh, in, in between streams, I was looking up, like, info on Prince Mush. And see if there was, like, I was specifically looking up if return postage would work on him. And no, it doesn't, he's immune to that. Just like Zap Tap. Uh, but what I found out is in the site I was looking at, it showed like a gif of his attack, his jump attack going off, as well as like where they super guard. So I was able to kind of just watch that and kind of get an idea of where the super guard is actually located. You know what? I'm gonna save the. Yeah, it's fine. I'll be okay. So I was able to just kind of watch that gif a little bit, and I could kind of see, like, oh, I think he's using the super guard here. It still takes a little bit more practice, you know, but, you know, it's one thing to learn the strategy, you then have to execute it. But I think I won because of that. Oh yeah, I like his uh, stance swapping mechanic, like in the first part. I think that's a good strategy. Defense? Oh yeah, he has six defense. Yeah, his six defense is a little ridiculous. I am now like with all or nothing and jump man i now have eight power but because of his whole stance change thing that means like half of the time i can't even attack him if i went with jump man or hammer man but i decided not to go with jump man or hammer man because i wanted the options but with hammer i actually mainly used hammer actually no i think i did have hammer man but then I saw the strategy of having charge equipped. So when he has the, when he's in his jump stance, uh, you use charge because you got nothing else to do. And then when he swaps back to his hammer stance, I use power, no, not power smash. The, 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 the hammer move that lets you pierce defense and ignore it. Yeah, so that's the thing. You either need power badges, and even then, 
with everything I have right now, my power is like eight. So you would normally only deal like two damage to him. So that's why piercing blow is a good idea so to ignore defense. And charge, I guess, helps. We can also do power lift. There isn't really anything jumping-wise that's actually really good on him. Unless you decide to go with a power jump, I believe. And even then, you're only dealing like an extra like two damage or something. Like he's just, and your partners can't do anything. Like none of your partners can actually do anything to him. The only ones that can actually deal damage are Miss Mouse with her normal attack, Coops with shell slam, uh, shell slam because apparently that ignores defense, and Flurry's lip lock, which also apparently ignores defense. You have five power plus P badges. I see. I think I only have two. Here, let me look. Oh, look. Yeah, power jump is what I had. I I ended up getting an extra one during the pit. Like, multi-bounce is not going to help you. Shrink, soft, sleepy, tornado, jump. None of these are going to help you. With power bounce, you need to have enough strength to get past his defense. Yeah, I really just had piercing blow. And then when he had zero defense... You can use pa you, you use power smash if you get the super guard correctly. I had charge, uh, HP pluses, FP pluses. Yeah, I only have two power plus P's. There's a hidden block in Rookport sewers or one from chapter three. Okay, so I missed one of those, I guess. Uh. And then you managed to get two from the wizards. Very nice. I managed to get a PFD down from a, uh, I think it was a Koopa Troll down here. Let's see. Double pain. No, I'm good. I managed to also get another pretty lucky down here. Five defend pluses. Yeah, I only have the two. If there's an extra one that I could pick up, I didn't get it. And the rest is probably just item drops, right? Uh, let's see, am I missing something? But yeah, he's immune to zap tap and return postage, so it's not useful. Anyway. Where can you get defend pluses from? What enemies have them? Also, I know there's a cap of how many badges you can hold. I just don't know the total amount. At least in game. And there doesn't seem to be a cap per badge, for all I know. There's just a cap total of how many badges you can hold. At least in game two. Oh, right. One of my power pluses actually came... Wait. Yeah, one of my power pluses came from a enemy drop from the wizard or something in Palace of Shadow. That's what... Yeah, I remember. I got a, I got a random drop. Oh, there's three of you. Hmm. That's an interesting decision. Okay. Okay, I am going to... Put this easy on me. Alright. Time for a supernova. I'm getting rid of all of you right now. Oh, 
Oh, and also with Prince Mush, he's immune to the Crystal Star somehow. That also doesn't help. Like, that makes no sense to me. Isn't the Crystal Star is like some super, like, super powerful breaks reality sort of thing? And Prince Mush is just, nah, I'm immune to it. I think he, j he just somehow has like a like a cheat codes on or something. He was trapped in the void created by Crystal Star. So you think he gained some Crystal Star energy when he was trapped in the void? Also, is that, like, I never fully understood Prince Mush's situation. Because, if I remember correctly, all it did was drain energy, right? But, and we see the res how King K and, oh, the bandit dude. Like, they were drained of energy, but they were just kind of laying down flat underneath a barrel. Not a barrel, the big block. So, I thought he would just be drained of energy and then have to be put somewhere else. But for some reason, he was in a crystal star? So, like, did the crystal star drain, like, all of his life force or something? Like, literally his physical form? Did the crystal star just create a new Prince Mush based on the energy it managed to absorb? I never fully understood it. Do two multi bounces, or I just save the FP. I'm gonna save the FP. Oh, I didn't see he was gonna attack three times. There we go. But what if it was... Sorry, I just now thought of it. What if it was that... The Crystal Star created a copy of Prince Mush based on what it absorbed. So it's basically not the same Prince Mush, but kinda is, right? But because of this, this Prince Mush, while not being the original, it's basically a Crystal Star in it, in of it of itself. And that's why he's immune to Crystal Star power. Because he's not actually Prince Mush. He's just a copy of a Crystal Star. I don't know. I can't think of anything else that would make sense. Because he's the only one that's immune, as far as I'm aware. How's that for a head cannon? <laughs> yeah. Okay, good. I got all my star power back. And let's get Bobbery. Okay, fine. We'll get Miss Mouse. It's whatever. Doesn't matter. Someone has to hit him from the side. Let's see. 
What floor am I on? Where am I at? Noise. We're at the funny number. Now we're at floor 70. Time to continue on. 30 more, flo 30 more floors. It's a good idea to rally wink. Bounce. There we go. Get out of here. Hello, sullied your trousers. Or how's it going? Just going through the pit a little bit because Waka's down here. Waka. I had to spend 30 minutes just to get a stupid email. Okay, let's see. I am going to Earth Tremor. Chain Trumps will be at 1 HP. And they'll die to either Super Guards or Zap Taps. Music is quite intense. It kind of is. But well, it's a nice remix. I also do like how the battle music is now getting extension to this song. To the song instead of where it normally would end. Ah, oh well. Died to zap tap. Yeah, right now going after Wa uh, Wacka. And as far as I know, it's the last thing that I need to do. Dragon Quest. Ah, uh, yes. Dragon Quest. I just recently played through Dragon Quest 1 and 2 on, on stream. The SNES version got every achievement that there was for it. Gam ugh, the gambling into it took forever. I'll probably move on to three at some point. But not right now. Oh. They had 10 HP. Okay. I guess that... Looks to be another rally wing. There we go. The only Dragon Quest game that I still need to beat is Six. I feel like I'm close, but man, Six I kept dropping and having to go back to. Well, I also haven't played Ten, but it's also not here. And it's also an MMO. Still wondering if we are actually going to get 10 offline. But we played the one of the DS ones and some of the 3DS remakes. Ah, yes. So you played 9 and 7 and 8 remake on 3DS? Okay. So I know the back will at least deal damage to me. But I should probably get rid of the Koopa Troll or weaken it. Multi bounce. Yeah, I'm gonna multi bounce. There. Now, what I can do. Oh, that changes things. There we go. They can't 
do anything. I want, I need to replay Nine. I haven't played it in years. I only played it the one time, but I need to replay it again. Maybe I will on stream one day. But I'm, I kind of like playing games in order, usually. Oh, he's still on the ground. Okay. There we go. So, seven. You play seven. Got impatient waiting to start playing with the class changer. That is true. Seven took a long time to let, get you to all trades, Abby. I remember that on my first playthrough. It kind of felt... What, wasn't it like 20 hours in when you got to All Trades Abbey? It was a little ridiculous. I still haven't played the PS1 version. I still want to own a PS1 copy. They're pretty spendy right now. They're like 70 bucks. Maybe 80. But it was far enough. Yeah, exactly. It was way too far. Well, same strategy again. Earth Tremor it is. And we'll probably use Miss Mouse to get rid of that least one. Or I can get Coops out here and hit them all. It really depends if I want to save FP or not. Have you played 8 Remake on 3DS? Castle Trodanian? Uh, Castle Trodang. I have no idea. I have no clue. So it's fighting a boss? That was a robot. Hmm. Yeah. Again, it's also been... I haven't played 7 since uh, the remake count came out. That's a, there's a few Dragon Quest games I just need to replay. Yeah, no. Uh, eight on 3DS is pretty good. I'm covered in vines and curse. Play exactly one Dragon Quest game on 3DS. One covered in vines that was cursed. Well, that probably sounds like eight. Or the opening, uh, Dual Magus. Oh yeah, Castle Trodane. Yeah, that is, that is eight. Yeah, Dual Magus grabbed the the staff, used thorns to curse the entire castle of Trodane. And what else? Cursed the the king and the princess. That's what he did. He turned the the princess into a horse and the king to a troll, basically. Yeah, that was eight. Sometimes I get the names of the areas mixed up. But yeah, Trodane's eight. Let's get rid of the wizard. No, eight's really good. I replayed it like last year. It was great. I replayed it on PS2. I have both 3DS and PS2 copies. Granted, my first playthrough of 8 was the 3DS version, and then I bought a PS2 copy later. I like playing the PS2 copy. It looks slightly better, in my opinion. And also, uh... The, the synthesi... The, the orchestrated music. Yeah, I lose out on, like, the extra dungeon or whatever. But that synthesized score, or not, orchestrated score, that is, that is a must. Okay. You know what? I'm gonna spend a lot of FP.
Dragon's Dogma? Dogma? I have not played that one, so I don't know much about it. There we go. One left. Okay, eight. Six is the only one I need to still finish. I need to go back. I, part of it is on my phone, and I don't really play games on my phone, even though I managed to go through uh, four and five on my phone, even though I still took breaks. Six is just, ugh, six is just not that great. Like, six seems to give you, like, no direction. And not in the, like, explore, like, the game's open and explore, I mean, it kind of does that, but it literally gives me, like, no direction to what I need to do. It's kind of, it's not that great. If I want to get rid of them all, I'm using up a lot of FP. Yeah, the only way I actually own 4, 5, and 6 is the mobile versions. Because look, the, the DS versions of those games are super spendy right now. <laughs> they are very spendy. So, the phone versions is the most affordable versions I could get right now. But at least I have 9 on DS. Man, 9 deserves a remake. Because remember, that game lets you do uh, co-op. And like, story mode co-op. Pretty much. That game deserves one. I think I'll just attack you anyway. Yeah. I guess I'll try to loot this guy. Yeah, we got that off. Oh, lucky. There we go. I gotta save the FP. Man, it would be so nice if we had a mover to sh uh, pop up anytime soon. That'd be great. I would love that. Ugh. I'm still wondering. W I'm still wondering when we're gonna get the Dragon Quest Three remake. Because we I don't know if you remember that trailer, but that's like in the Octopath Traveler style, and it looks so good. But it's like we haven't heard of it in like three years. Supposedly there's rumors that it might come out this year, but I don't know. I don't like listening to rumors, honestly. I would have to use it twice. I I need to save the FP. Crap poops, it's fine. Ouch, five damage. Yeah, I'm probably gonna have to use Sweet Treat or something. Just to heal up. Oh! He's gonna give me a coin. Yeah. Give me a single coin. Of course, if you want to get, like, the actual NES versions. Dragon Quest 1 is actually still, like, five bucks, so at least that one's easy to get. Everything else is very expensive. <laughs> Especially 3 and 4. They are super expensive if you want an NES copy. I'll use this up. There we go. 
<sighs> Floor 82. Let's keep this going. We're gonna get there eventually. Oh, I do not want to deal with this. I'm gonna spend the FP. Go. Kick him, Bella, back out here. At this point, Flower Saver P wouldn't be that bad of an idea. Oh well. Oh, look, I'm actually gaining a decent amount of EXP right now. And only because of the sheer amount of enemies. Might as well use it. Moving on. I'm gonna use it on me. And I'm gonna use it on me. Again, still only have upgraded my badge points. I have upgraded nothing else. Just had to use badges for HP and FP. Okay, well, I can't. Well, I can. I can rally link. I can do this. Hold on. gonna have to probably sweet feast. There has to be a good enemy type to use that on. Or I'm not gonna take that much damage. Maybe it'd be best to do that when I'm about to take down an enemy. I think Vivian needs some extra health back. Yeah. Take a little bit before I level up again. Uh, I didn't get it. I didn't get the jump. How many of them are there? Oh my, okay. Multi bound. Wait. No, I have like no FP. Supernova. We'll use this up. Now I can't sweet feast. It's fine. I'll make it work. There we go. Get out of here. Are we at 89? 88. Okay. Ugh. Still gonna be a few fights. At this point, I, I might as well just wait for the level up and wait for that to get my FP back. I don't need the spike pow- spike pals. Whatever. I don't need this. Get out of here. Oh, God. Okay, fine. I mean... Wow, that... And look at that! That is another pretty lucky. I have to claim that for myself. Okay, hold on. This mouse. Get out of here. You're, you're not allowed to throw cans at me. There we go. Another pretty lucky. Can I be the best dodge tank? We shall see. So far it's not working. Oh my god. Okay. Uh... I'm gonna have to sweet treat. Yeah, I'm gonna have to sweet treat.
Let's do this. Get some health back, get some FP back. Ah, dang it. Oh well. <clears throat> okay, if I get hit by all three, I am not going to make it. I gotta do something else. Shooting star's not gonna work. Dynamite's not gonna work. I could heal. Yeah. Maple super. We'll use it. There, and I get some FP back. Oh, now the luckies happen. Bounce. Rally Wink. Multi Bounce. That'll do it. Multi Bounce. Get out of here. Is that enough? That looks to be enough to level up. Yeah, there we go. Yay! I'm level 33 now. Yeah. 99 badge points. Oh, that is... That is amazing. Look at that. Let's see. What else could I do? Uh, really, unless I unequip something, not much. I could be even more dodgy. <laughs> nothing else is really that great. Half the damage... Like, I could unequip Zap Tap and unequip one of these Super Peels and have Return Postage instead of Zap Tap. Because it's half of the damage given back instead of just a single damage. However, Zap Tap works better on, I think, the Swoopers. Uh, the Swoopulas and the Fuzzies. So I think there's a trade-off there. So if I wanted both, I would need to... Kind of put something else. I wonder, is 99 the cap? For badge points? Let me go even higher. get even more badge points. That would be nice. We may find out. And if we have hit the cap, what do I decide to go with? HP or FP? What we could do is, if I get, if I'm forced to take a HP or FP level up, I could unequip the corresponding badge. But that basically just means I could use the badge points on something else, so I don't know. It's just a thought. Yeah, I am not I'm not wanting to deal with this. Multi-bounce. that. Multi-bounce one more time. Well, at least I'm getting one EXP each. 
And not just for one, the, the fight itself. Ugh. We are basically at the level cap, more or less. If I, yeah, if I really wanted to, like, level grind to max whatever that is, I would have to fight in Maisie Daisies. Okay, I can save FP. A normal jump. And I could rally with. Hey, hey, Sydney, how's it going? Receiving your messages. That's the first one that popped in. As far as I'm aware. Yeah, that's the first one that uh, came in right now. If you message more, I didn't see any. Right now, we went through the Pit of 100 Trials last time, only to find out that the extra super boss is also in the Pit of 100 Trials that you have to go to after beating it the first time. So, we're here again. At least we were able to skip the first 50 floors, though. I'm gonna need to have a sweet feast or something. I'm doing fine, Sydney. I don't know why the message didn't come in earlier. It's weird. Yeah, I'm, I'm scrolling back, I don't see it. Yeah, I'm doing fine. Just going through the pit again. Where are we at? 89? We're almost there. How's it going on your end, Sydney? What's been going on? Ten more floors. And then the new super boss. Oh, okay, come on. Couldn't get the sneak attack in. Oh, not. okay, I don't like this. Okay, um, you know what? I forgot they have so much defense. You know what? I am, su I'm gonna supernova. I am not dealing with these guys. You got upfront for making a logo. Very nice. Good for you. You doing projects lately? Yeah. Internet may be slow. Ah, uh, that's... It is how it is, huh? It happens. Sometimes, like, when I stream, the internet's just like, No, I'm gonna crash today. Like, ten times, for no reason. Be like, well, I'm not streaming to that day. Yeah, it, it just happens. I don't know why, but it does. Do I? Does anyone need? Oh well, I, I'm guess I'm carrying the dried mushroom. But yeah, uh, how long does it take you to do a, uh, what you, uh, what'd you say, a logo? Yeah, how long does that take you? Okay. I can't multi bounce rally link. I could, however, just attack and rally link. Go. Oh, you were watching live an hour ago? Okay. Interesting. It's kind of weird that someone could pop in, but it looks like the little avatars don't always pop in all the time. So I had no clue. You're probably just uh, watching me run, run around, kill time, 
to wait for the 30 minutes to get the email. Okay, at this point, what I'm going to do is... Hold on. I'm just gonna... Appeal? Then I'm also gonna appeal again. Depends on the details, clients. Ah, uh, okay. Do you have a range, or is it really just that dependent? It's like that detailed on, like... Okay. Time for a sweet feast. So much I'm losing. Okay. We got some FP back. We're both at full health. Gumbo's not poisoned anymore. At this point, we'll just do the normal attack. Actually, I should have let Goombella just uh, appeal. That would have been better. Well then, I guess I'm just going to appeal as well. Nothing I can do. Let's try to get some of those star points back. <laughs> Thank you, Mario, for dodging. Okay, in this case, let's let Gabella appeal, and then I'll let Mario attack him. Probably gonna need another sweet piece soon. Uh, let's see. Depends on the details, plans. Today at the restaurant was also very thing. Oh, do you are you uh, are you a waitress or, or or something? You uh, you work at a restaurant. You know what I mean. Uh, oh, that depends on details. But for your friends, don't charge too much. I see. I see. Yeah. Paper Mario has been doing pretty well for me lately. It's too bad. It's going to probably end here soon. <laughs> Move on to a game that probably won't get as much attention. But that is the thing that uh, helps, I guess, playing a game that uh, is more fresh in people's minds. Floor 93. And we got a mover. Yeah, we're gonna go down five levels. Yeah, Pippa Mario did help me. I'll say that. You make pizzas and bacon at a restaurant. You told me no. I don't remember you telling me this. I actually don't. Hmm. They have, like, decent items. Multi- Double multi-bounce is not enough to KO. However, I want to get rid of at least one of these. That's all good. You make pizzas and bacon restaurant. Very nice. Very cool. Uh... What's more important? I think I will go with this one. And then I will go ahead and just attack normally. Let's see how this goes. Ah, uh, I messed that. I missed that. To get low. Not yet. I'm, I thought I would have today so far, but so. No far. Sorry. So far, not yet. Hopefully, I'll get it in the next few days. Okay. Gumbella's currently dizzy. I can 
get Ugump in here. He can attack. I will go ahead and... I guess I'll just attack normally. Get rid of this one. Weaken this one. I thought the changes uh, I asked for would be pretty simple changes, but maybe there's a little bit more to it for right now. I don't know what goes on in people's lives. You know, things happen. I'm not getting that right. There we go, I got the super guard. Also, if I got the logo and banner, I probably would have set it up already. Unless it, it was during stream, but yeah. Yeah, let's let's hope that's actually the case. Okay. Another ground pound. They recover a decent amount of HP. And let's go. They really hate my partner. Yeah, I will see the results, hopefully. But, like, uh, the next game I plan to play is Mega Man Battle Network 6. And, sadly, Mega Man doesn't really get that much attention, so... Maybe not. But maybe I'll just probably put it in the retro category again. Maybe I have a better chance there. That's kind of the weird thing about the retro category. Like, sometimes it's like, is it better to put it in the retro, or is it better to put it in the, the actual category? I don't know. Gotta play by ear, I guess. Injustice 2? I don't have Injustice at all. I don't have either. Maybe one day, maybe Injustice, but I don't know. I looked at the prices online, they're pretty cheap. So that's not an issue, it's just a matter of like, do I want to spend the money on them right this second? Oh yeah. But so far, the, the pricing for Injustice 1 and 2 is not that bad. Oh my god, what is this? Excuse me? Excuse- look at this. Hold on. First of all, I'm probably just gonna s supernova. But can I please kiss Thief and get that power plus? No, I can't. Oh my god. <laughs> Miss Mouse, you suck. <laughs> so I have... Hey, you gotta do what you gotta do, Sydney. You gotta do what you gotta do. But it's nice, uh, uh, it is nice to talk to some, uh, it, when you do stop by, it is very nice. There we go. You have to head out, and it's all good. Be back tomorrow. I may or may not stream tomorrow, because I don't like starting a new game, and then just, like, on Fridays, and then just to have two days off in the middle, so I may not stream tomorrow, unless I figure out a one-off but, so I may not stream tomorrow, but yeah. Uh, for sure, probably Monday. You know what? I'm just gonna supernova. I don't really do many one-offs, so... Either I need to find a game that's a good one-off stream, in cases like this. Or I need to find another way to work with it. I don't know. Maybe have a list of one-off games and then just spin the wheel, I don't know. Oh yeah, have a good day, Sydney. Thanks for stopping by. Ah, uh, no level up. No level up. And we got the power plus anyway. Look at that. Look at that. I could have a total of 
nine damage per hit. But I don't think there's anything I would want to, like, equip with that. Or unequip, I should say. Well, I can unequip, I could probably unequip Power Bounce. I don't know if either of these will actually help me, though. Let's see. That's a little ridiculous. Is there anything else that would be useful to me? Hmm. I don't know if ZapTap's actually going to help me. We'll keep return postage. Super peels. Quick change. I think we'll just leave things as is. We finally made it to the hundred floor again. It is time to face our truest foe. That's a rare Waka. I don't think you've seen many of his kind anymore. Nope. If you Waka Waka, they drop a Waka Bone. You can either eat those or sell them for a high price. You did hear me when I say these critter critters are rare, right? Just checking, because that means you should not whack them. Do you understand that? Right, Mario? Waka ho! I'm Waka. You sure traveled a long way to see me. It's kind of cramped and dark down here, but it's also super quiet. Such a relaxing getaway spot, ho. So that's why you're here. You want to play with me in that case. Let's play. Ba-bam! shouldn't whack it. Uh, yep, it, I shouldn't whack it. What is this song? What is this song? Okay. Tattle. And the Wacka Bump is on the field. That's a Wacka. They're pretty rare. But you can also find them hiding in Keyhole Key. Not anymore. He's... He's got a max HP of 108, an attack of 10, and a defense of 1. I never expected to run into one of these guys all the way down here. When he's attacked, he'll drop a whack -a bump Then he'll use that to that bump for a powerful attack on his own. That means we should try to use as few attacks as possible to keep him from dropping those whack -a bumps Seriously, I never expected to fight a Waka. It's so hard to tell what they're thinking. I bet it gets real scary when he's mad. But I hope we don't find out. Okay. So if we hit him, he'll drop a whack a bump. And that whack a bump could be used as an attack. But maybe that's a direct attack sort of thing? Hmm. How do I want to handle this? can't... You know what? Let's appeal for a second. I use my one turn to tattle. Ouch. Alright, so... I guess what I could do is I could just do my normal jump. Oh! Each hit counts. Oh. Okay. Okay. That's not good. Oh, and I can't target it. I can't target the bumps. It's going to punish me for using Yoshi. So, there's got to be something I can do. I'm going to... This is risky, but I'm going to try burning... So he can be burned. That might help. Okay, I'm at the lucky anyway. He can heal himself with these bumps. Oh. Um. The burn. 
the burn creates another whack a bump. Oh no. Okay. I'm gonna take some time to appeal. I'm gonna be honest, Hammerman would actually be better here. Hammerman would be better here. Oh, that's just me. That was the stage dropping on him. Whatever. Fine. Okay. Note to self. Don't burn him. Okay. Mario still does the most damage. We gotta keep his attacks... Okay. How do I want to handle this? I don't know if there's a way to get rid of the whack a box. I think uh, the game will let me re uh, retry if I lose to him. In that case, if that's actually true, then we can experiment. Alright. I don't think Vivian's gonna help. I'm actually gonna try Flurry. Pawn. Gale Force. I'm not trying to get rid of him. Okay, it does not get rid of the Wacka Bumps. Okay. So we need to do single hits on him. Mario still does the most damage. So, hold on. Okay, good. Failing the second command with all or nothing won't get him to actually spawn another bump. And that's good. So what I could do is I can spend time with healing. Oh! I see what's happening. Oh, that's just mean. That is mean. He's hurting himself on purpose. Okay, this is interesting. He knows the strategy. He knows what he can do. I still think it's a good idea for me to do this. Well, actually hit him, of course. Yeah, that is the bent that is the good thing about it. down and took my life shroom okay he is going to okay I, I think I know what I can do no. get some star back I am going to dodgy fog there see a few attacks. Yeah, I had a feeling you would do this. Spending more time hurting himself. Wow, that's that's a lot. You know what? Let's go ahead and attack normally. I don't care that, that there's that many. I don't know. We'll get... 
At this point, we'll get Bob Lake. Sure, why not? That's... And with fall... Oh, okay. I think I'm safe. Fortunately, he just like, nah, I'm gonna go after Mario. Wait, that's a stronger attack, isn't it? Well, anyway. Let's see how this goes. Okay. Bobbery does not have much left. No, not enough. I almost got him. Ouch. Okay. There we go. Chat? We got it. We got him. Does double damage. And can also recover 75 HP. Wow. What a way to end it with a level up. I... I can't... I can't boost FP... I've hit the cap. I have hit the cap when it comes to F uh, to BP. I can't boost it anymore. It won't let me. We have hit it. So this truly is. Uh, we have. Uh, we're done with the badge only run now. At least it happened right after we beat Waka. I'll give it that. Wakahoo! I guess I lost. But that was fun. Hope to see you again sometime. A gold Waka Bump. A shiny Waka Bump attained from Waka. It sadly cannot be eaten. Huh. Okay. Interesting. Okay, that fight was not as bad as uh, Prince Mush. Granted, you are probably better off using your hammer on him with Hammer Man for a single attack to try to limit the amount. Congratulations! You have you had Goombella tattle on every kind of enemy. Your title log is now bursting with villainous secrets and juicy bad gossip, bad guy gossip. As proof of your efforts, we have sent you a special reward, the title trophy. Check your useful items to admire it yourself or show it off to friends. You earned the right to brag. Congratulations! You've collected all of the recipes, obtained every badge, and filled up your entire title log. Wow! Head on over to Rogueport's main square. A shiny reward is waiting for you. Ooh. A reward, you say? I'll say Prince Mush was harder. But once I, I would change to Hammer Man. Return postage and Zap Tap would not matter on him. And because of all my lucky days. And lucky days and pretty luckies. Going with something like the Repel Cape slash uh, Dodgy Fog really helped Mario. I can see a less strategic player struggling more against Rocket. Exactly, since he can pretty much just heal whenever he wants. I can see that, yeah. But a less skilled player like myself would have more trouble with... Uh, Prince Mush, because of Super Guards. 
The gold medal badge makes Mario look shiny and golden. This is literally just gold medal Mario. Huh. Badge list. Is there... Ah, uh, it gets added. I see. I see how it is. Well, now we truly have every badge. Um... And the music got updated because... Bone Tail and Waka. How come the top, top right is not complete? I have every song, right? Let me double check. Because something feels off. That top right corner looks like there should be a... Uh, like a little symbol showing that I got everything. I don't see any blanks. No. Chapter 8. Nothing. Yeah, like... That symbol... That green symbol on the top right... That's like the same symbol when you look at the badge list before a badge is there. So it makes me think that like a little symbol would appear top on the top right once you get everything, but maybe not. I guess, uh, you know what? I'm going to heal at the end, because why not? Make a save and we can look through the art gallery, I guess. Oh, I'm fully... Oh, duh, I just got the... Yeah, I just got the level up. Never mind. Let's make a save. And I guess I'll just go through the art gallery. Why not? What do we got in here? So just concept art of each area? Well, this doesn't even look like concept art. Okay, so we got some zoomed in stuff here. Good look at the ship at multiple ang angles. Hmm. To me, this doesn't really look like concept art. It's more of like, let's just take the camera and zoom out. Or zoom in. There's the concept art. Okay. Okay, honest, I'm going to be honest. This concept art looks like it was made for the GameCube version, not this version. Because if it was made for this version, they would know exactly what everything looks like. This might be art for the GameCube. Yeah, yeah it is. I see the O3 there. Oh, that's cool. Man, I really want, like... I really like getting like these art books and like uh this sort of thing it made me wish paper mario actually got one or something i know mario has like a uh a couple but paper mario doesn't it's like mo it's like the main series mario in general that has one and like mario odyssey oh we get zoom ins on like the different peach posters and pictures in the guy's house the different mugs the stand we got close-ups of the Coop, Coops' picture. Oh, and that's the mayor and his wife zoomed in. I see. Okay. Okay, some Hooktail Castle. Wait, what's going on with the bottom right one? Oh, I, I, I see what's happening. Okay. Hmm. I don't think... Is there anything left? There's nothing left, right? I think we have done literally everything now. Other than, you know, going through this, I guess. Let's 
Some early designs for Hooktail Castle. Oh, here it looks like Hooktail was... They actually had Hooktail actually fully designed. Like, not in the paper, uh... Like, the 3D construction paper sort of look. Interesting. I think we can kind of skip through some of these. But... Wait, what? Did they make a real-life version of the Boggly Tree? Because, uh... Because, look up here. Did they make a real version of the Boggly Tree? They didn't do that for the whole thing. I don't think so. I think they just did that. Yeah, some of these I can see. Here we go. This is what I like to see. It looks like some of the ruins were kind of maybe outside. And there's the future door. That's still there. Uh... Oh, look. It looks like the tree was surrounded by, like... It's like covering over a building as well. Like it took over some ruins. In that original artwork. That's some interesting... Those are inter interesting designs for the punies. I think I prefer the route they went with. But that's interesting that they almost went that route. Yeah, okay, I remember seeing some of this artwork before for... For them. Ah, yes, Glitzville. Different designs to, for the blimp, I see. This one looks more like what the original one was, I think. Or was it this one? Either way. Do you stand? Wait. Oh, this is the... Okay, yeah, that's the shop. Okay. I see. Maps of each area. Oh, wait, wait, wait. wait. What's down here? Okay. Oh, you can see their mul the multiple layers that they did. For for the uh, Game Boy Advance thing. I see. Okay. There's the contraption. Wait, why are there two versions of this room? Huh. Everything, everything here looks a little bit normal. Except, look at Jol Jolene looks different. Different hairstyle. They gave Jolene that hair look. And again, I think it's implied in the current one that those two are the same person. Because I think there was one time where I didn't see Jolene in the manager's room. But she's at the juice bar. Different Yoshi designs. Alright. What do we got? Yeah, Kind of sp skip through some of these. Different tree designs, okay. Close up on, like, the rocks from the side that are behind the grass. Grass, whatever. Uh, different tree designs as well? Okay. Creepy steeple. Dubliss' Manor. Okay. Okay, wait, what's going on over here? Is it all the different layers? I think it is. I think it's designs of all the different layers. Okay. Ooh, this is this is nice. I like this. Look at this. That's cool design. Kind of seems like Twilight Town was very similar. That's a somewhat different design for Creepy Steeple. Somewhat. But it still had the bell tower. Wait, why is Flurry here? In the Chapter 4 artwork. Were you not supposed to get Flurry until now? Originally? Wait, is that a different partner? Look down there, it's like a bulb partner. Looks like some sort of wind uh, power. Kind of, oh, okay, so when, when they went with Flurry, they were considering a bulb partner that had the pedal, uh, 
spin. Okay. Different dupless designs. Okay. Were they originally wanting Flurry to be a Chapter 4 partner? Bobbery drinking. Layers of the background. Battle. Okay. Cortez's room. Cortez's fight. The layers. Okay. Ah, uh, here we go. Mario washed up on the shore. That's a tall mountain. Okay. That's uh, a little different. The top right there. I wish I could zoom in even more. I can't, though. Okay, and then it looks like there's a tree house there. That wasn't in the final game. There's the grot. That's probably the pirate's grotto. Um, hmm. Looks relatively normal. Why is there a cat here? Is that in the pirate's grotto? Why is there a cat here? Oh, was this supposed to be Flavio in the left? He was going to be a toad. Oh, and General White got a completely different design. He was more uh, more military before. Okay. Interesting. I do like the current design, though, so I'm glad they went with this change. Alright. Chapter 6. Well, okay, at least with the train, that's a different angle. You know. Full, full train. How the layers worked, okay. Day, dusk, night, okay. Kind of same thing here. Riverside Station, Poshley Heights. Yeah, pretty normal. Different layers of the background, okay. Okay, wait a minute, hold on. What's up here? Hmm. Too bad I can't read kanji. So I don't know what some of these are saying. Those are the cabins. It's what's the top left. It looks like the overworld map. Is that pointing to Riverside Station? It might be. Hmm. Everyone, okay. Everything looks pretty normal. Although, it looks like he has hair in this one. With the two out of the blue. Chapter 7. Yeah, just shots of far outposts inside. Okay, this is not a bad one. Just shots of the cannon inside the control room. Uh, you can see it was going to be more cartoony there. Oh, different designs of the moon. I see. That they might have gone with. Different layers, okay. X not face. Text room. Far outpost designs. Looks very similar, doesn't it? Except, like, this whole thing right here wasn't as obvious in the final version. That it was in the ground. Looks like it was more icy in there. Looks like there might have been a separate uh, hut that you could have gone to. Maybe separated from Far Outpost. Oh, and it kind of seemed like there was an actual war base, possibly, for the cannon. There's Dupree. Miss, Miss Mao's design, look at that. Blue instead of the pink. Don Pianta. Wait, who's... Who's this? The Monty Mole Pianta Syndicate? Or is it a rival syndicate? Instead of, like, the Thief Gang. Uh, with, uh... Ishnail. Interesting. Chapter 8, what do we got here? Palace, Palace of Shadow stuff. Yeah. Wait. How come there are different light... How come that looks different? Is that actually in game? If so, how how do you make it that lit? That lit, huh? Or is it just like concepts? 
I don't know. Okay. Original idea of the reveal for Shadow Queen. Like, being this look. All the layers. Everything being turned into darkness. Pretty much. Yeah. Okay, so it looks like this might not have been a palace. At least for that. Or it wasn't in a palace. There's the compass thing. The courtyard was still going to be here. So that's still the case. It, it does look like that they actually were, from the start, going with quote unquote, uh, the Palace of Shadow. It's just that when you look at this, it looks like this is in a cave. Like, it doesn't look like they're in a separate room that's uh, within the palace itself. Little crump in both designs. Some extra designs for maybe the x knots Look at the Shadow Queen. I am glad they went with the route they did. One, it connects the it connects the Shadow Queen to Beldum, uh, Vivian, and uh, Marilyn. And two, it's way more creepy. And also, it'll probably be it's probably better explained how survived su how she survived a thousand well not survived but you know what I mean survived a thousand years or been seen whatever. I do think the modern the current design is the better one. Okay, I see what's going on here. Kind of how they layered everything. I see. Those different designs for the chapter coins? What's the difference between some? What's the difference between A and C and B and D? Oh, like different different edges, I think, or something. Yeah, okay. Different layers of the Oh, there's Bowser's Castle. There it is. Ooh, actual concept art of, like, of the cove. That looks cool. This looks so cool. I wonder if there's actually more of this artwork that they just didn't put in here. Imagine. Oh, it looks like this was actually handmade. Imagine an actual Paper Mario game that actually looked like this. That would be cool. For a one-off or something. Wait, what? Oh, are these designs for... The Battlemaster? Well, obviously the purple one down there is designs for the Battlemaster. But... Is the one on the top like an old original design for him? Probably. And these guys are the on the wanted posters. And it looks like that's it. Again, it kind of looks like I'm missing something in the sound gallery, but I don't think there is anything left. I think that's it. So... Okay. Here, let me make this truly a badge-only run. There. There. I fixed it. <laughs> I'll leave it there. I don't think there's anything left. As far as I know, this is it. Well, I think I can just wrap it up then. Because as far as I know, we're done. Thanks for everyone who showed up. I'm doing these streams Monday through Friday at noon Pacific time. If there's some... If you want to see the old streams that are not on Twitch anymore, they're on YouTube at Scottbot64 Stream Archives. If, unless I find something else about this game, uh, I plan to move on to Mega Man Battle Network 6. And if I'm going to move on to Battle Network 6, I don't want to just do a one stream and then 
not stream on the weekend, so we'll do that on Monday. Unless I find something else about Thousand Year Door, that's currently the plan. If I do a one-off, I do a one-off tomorrow, but I'm probably just gonna... I'm probably just gonna do Battle Network 6, starting on Monday. But anyway, have a good day. Later.